God made me a people person. But I was stuck in a job where I was delivering packages all day. I was working at UPS as a delivery driver for 13 years and I became a Christian and I was on a route where I could not tell anyone about the things of God. It was just me alone delivering packages to houses. I remember just feeling sad. So I put my name in to take another route in a mall. This place where I could talk to people more, to share with them the good news of Jesus. And I'm, I'm still not, not completely satisfied. Like I, I still know that there's more that God is calling me to do. And the longer I would spend with people on route, I felt like I was stealing time from UPS. I'm supposed to be delivering packages, but I want to spend time with people. But I didn't know what that, that meant for me. Did it mean, like, do I need to quit my job? Do I do bivocational ministry, missions work, street preach, hand out Bible tracts, go to seminary? I knew in my heart that God was calling me to His people to deliver His gospel. The question was, how am I going to do that? And who is going to train me? Where do I belong? And I just searched on the internet. So I'm like, I think God just answered my prayer. So I went home and told my wife. And the next thing I know, I'm applying to Phoenix Seminary. So I get accepted. I wonder if the cost is going to be too high. I end up getting a scholarship. I'm really nervous as to, am I too old to be doing this? God was leading me to jump out of the boat. So I enroll and, and I'm looking around and there's people ranging from their mid-20s to their mid-70s. And, I, and I, I think that God has me in the right place. And then all of the coursework, all the reading. And I'm like, God, what are you doing with me? There's these nights I would go home and I, and I started to cry. I thought you wanted me to spend more time with people. Why do you have me spending time alone by myself? This is too hard for me. People would tell me, do you even need seminary? And I need to quit. But there was this beautiful thing happening between me and God. My life had slowed down and I started spending more time in the Bible with God one-on-one. -on -one. And I, I continued to work through it with God and, and God telling me, this is where you need to be. Learn from your professors so that you will be able to feed my people. He was training me so that I'd become more effective in my sharing of the gospel so that I can teach His word, not how I want to do things, but how He wants me to do things. I've learned how to read the Bible carefully. I've learned how to distinguish good doctrine from bad doctrine. I tried to learn these things on my own and I learned that I needed to be in a community where we were all learning together. I can be the people person that God created me to be and at the same time share the knowledge that I have gained at Phoenix Seminary to love and shepherd God's people well. I have a ministry at my church where I'm feeding God's people. I've seen people in my young adults ministry come to know Christ. I've seen people rededicate their lives to Christ. And none of this would be possible without my training at Phoenix Seminary. I'm one semester from graduating. It was worth my time. It was worth all of the tears. This all started with me delivering packages, and now God has me delivering the gospel.